Welcome to Lively Lewis Stories. Buckle up, because you're about to join Levi and Ivy on an adventure. All you need is your imagination, and off, off we go! go! Lively Lewis Stories! Hey there, awesome friends. Guess what? We're super thrilled to share some exciting news with you. We've got our very own Lively Lewis merchandise. Woohoo! Grab your parents and head over to LivelyLewisShop.com or simply click on the link below in our show notes. Now, let's dive into today's story. Ivy, what's eight plus three? Asked Levi from behind a stack of papers and notebooks. Um, 12? Asked Ivy, sounding a bit unsure. Give it another try. Levi said, trying to encourage his sister. You've got this. Okay, so eight plus three. Ivy thought out loud as she counted on her fingers. It's 11. That's right, exclaimed Levi. See, I told you you'd get it. How about you skip count by two up to 12? Ivy asked her brother as she wrote down number facts in her math journal. Okay, I think I've got this, said Levi, taking a deep breath. He had been working on skip counting all day. Two, four, six, uh... 10, 12? Is that right? So close, said Ivy. You missed one number between six and 10. Eight, that's right, said Levi, sounding disappointed in himself. How am I ever going to pass our math test tomorrow? Both Levi and Ivy were getting a little stressed out as they felt the pressure mounting for their big math test the next day. It was an overview of everything they had learned that year and they had learned a lot. Numbers, facts, and equations swirled around in their heads as they sat at their dining room table. Wow, you two are really studying hard, said their dad as he walked in with some cookies. I thought you could use a little break. There's no time for a break now, Dad, said Ivy. We still have so much to go over before bed. Well, said Levi, reaching for a cookie. How are we going to study if our tummies are rumbling? He makes a good point, said Levi and Ivy's dad with a giggle as he handed a cookie to Ivy. I guess you're both right, replied Ivy, taking a bite of her cookie. A little break might do us some good. What are some of the things you're studying? Asked their dad as he looked over some of the papers that were scattered around the table. Adding single digit and double digit numbers, then their subtraction, Ivy began. A little geometry and some skip counting. We also have to read and work out number sentences and make graphs and charts, added Levi. Oh yeah. There's also work with number lines and counting money. Wow, said their dad, sounding very surprised. That's a lot of information. I'm really proud of both of you for all the studying you've been doing for your test. I'm sure it will pay off when you get to class tomorrow. Levi and Ivy both yawned as he was talking, and it was clear to him that they had reached the end of their studying. You know what I think? I think you both need to get a good night's sleep, said their dad, starting to gather up all the papers and notebooks on the table. Sleep is really important before a big day, and I think you've done all you can. Whatever happens tomorrow on your test, you certainly know that you tried your absolute best. (sighs) Levi and Ivy yawned again as they slowly got up from their seats. They knew their dad was right, and they were also proud of the good job they had done studying. They brushed their teeth, put on their pajamas, and hopped into bed. But not before getting a few more practice rounds of skip counting in. Two, four, six, eight. Going to bed is really great, called out Ivy to Levi. Levi laughed out loud before Skip counting his way to bed too, but he did it by fives. Five, 10, what's five more? That is 15, yes, I'm sure, shouted Levi flopping down on his bed. Good night, my two math superstars, called out Levi and Ivy's dad as he turned out the lights and left the room. Do you think we'll do well on our test tomorrow? Ivy asked Levi as she settled into bed. I do. I think we've studied a lot and we're as ready as we can be, said Levi. I kind of wish we could just study a a little more, yawned Ivy, but I am so tired. Me too, replied Levi with an even bigger yawn. But what are we going to do? Study in our sleep? They both giggled a bit as they drifted off to dreamland, not knowing they were going to sleep just yet. Only a few moments passed before Levi and Ivy opened their eyes. They found themselves standing in a big room. It looked surprisingly like their classroom at school. Except, 
There were math posters everywhere. The desks were shaped like plus and equal signs, and the chairs like giant numbers. What's going on here? asked Ivy. We're definitely not in school, and I'm pretty sure we're not awake, said Levi, looking around and trying to make sense out of what he was seeing. Do you think we're having a math dream? asked Ivy. But the answer she got didn't come from Levi. Your first right answer. We'll see how many more of those you get tonight, said a deep voice from behind them. Levi and Ivy spun around and found themselves staring at someone they had never met before. Who are you? asked Levi. And where are we? I'm sorry. How rude of me. I'm Mr. Minus, and this is Mathland. The man said with a grin, Didn't you say something about wanting a little more time to study before your big test tomorrow? Well, here's your chance. However, if you don't answer my math questions correctly, you may just find that you'll be stuck here until you do. Levi and Ivy moved closer toward each other. They remembered saying they wanted to study more, but actually they knew it would be better to get some sleep. So what were they going to do? They tried to see if they could wake themselves up by giving each other a quick pinch on the arm but that didn't work. Maybe we can just leave through here and magically be back in our room, said Ivy pointing at the classroom door. So she gave it a try with Levi close behind. But they quickly found out that the door led to another classroom, then another, and another. I think we'll really have some fun learning about math, said Mr. Minus. After all, that test is a pretty big deal tomorrow. But our dad said that he was proud of how much we studied and that all we need to do is our best tomorrow said Ivy. But don't you want your best to be a perfect score? Asked Mr. Minus. Well, I I do. I want to get 100%, whispered Levi to Ivy. Me too, replied Ivy. Maybe we can answer a few questions and then we can head back to our beds to get some sleep. I know we can get them all right if we just work together and remember everything we studied. Levi believed his sister was right and they agreed to answer all of Mr. Minus's questions. Very good, Levi and Ivy, said Mr. Minus, stepping toward the chalkboard. Who can answer this question? What's eight plus three? Ivy, you've got this, said Levi, smiling at his sister. Ivy looked a little nervous because she had just gotten that question wrong when they were studying. You can do it, Ivy, whispered Levi. Um, 12, right? Asked Ivy. That is... Wrong. The correct answer is 11, said Mr. Minus. Looks like two more wrong and you'll be here for a bit. What do you mean two more wrong? Asked Levi. Oh, did I forget to mention that just like baseball, you get three strikes and you're out. Or I guess three wrong and you're in. In math class with me, that is. But if you get three in a row correct, then you're off to dreamland and can get some rest before your big test. Levi and Ivy knew that they didn't want to spend another minute with Mr. Minus, so they knew they had to get all the questions right from this point on. Levi, it looks like you can take the next question, said Mr. Minus. Skip count by twos from two to 12. Levi took a deep breath. (sighs) He had been having trouble with skip counting and was feeling especially nervous now. Okay, it's two, four, six, um, ten, twelve, said Levi, sounding a bit unsure. This is also wrong. The correct answer is two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, said Mr. Minus. Looks like just one more wrong answer, and I'll have some students joining me for a midnight math session. I'm sorry, Ivy, whispered Levi. I can't believe I got that wrong again. It's just because we're letting Mr. Minus make us nervous, said Ivy reassuringly. Our teacher, Mr. Martin, never makes learning scary, and he never makes me feel nervous. We just have to remember what he taught us, and we'll be okay. That's right. We just need to stay calm, think the problem through before we answer, and work as a team, said Levi. Are you two done talking so we can get to the third and possibly final question of the night? Asked Mr. Minus, sounding a bit annoyed. Yep, we're definitely ready for you now, said Ivy confidently as she smiled at Levi. Okay, who can skip count by fives to 20? 
asked Mr. Minus with a smug grin on his face. Just before Levi could raise his hand, Ivy called out, I can! She had remembered the song Levi sang before bed and recited it in her head. Five, ten, what's five more? That is fifteen, yes, I am sure. That would be five, ten, fifteen, said Ivy looking right at Mr. Minus. Would you like me to do any more? Twenty, twenty-five, thirty, thirty-five? No, that will be quite enough, said Mr. Minus in a low voice. You got it right. What was that? Ivy asked proudly. I said you got it right, Mr. Minus said, raising his voice. Great job, Ivy, said Levi, giving her a high five. Okay, Levi, this question is for you, began Mr. Minus. If Ivy had nine donuts and you took three of them, how many donuts would she have left? Mmm, I love donuts, so I might take more than three, giggled Levi. But if I only get three, then my answer would be... Levi took a minute to think of the answer in his head, but he still looked confused. Ivy suggested that he use the chalkboard to draw out the donuts, and that really helped. The answer is six donuts, said Levi confidently. They knew they had the answer right and could tell that Mr. Minus was getting more and more upset. So was that right too? asked Levi. Yes, Mr. Minus said in an annoyed tone. I guess it looks like one more question right and we'll be off to dreamland and you'll be skip counting by yourself for the rest of the night, said Ivy with a smirk. Well, we'll see about that, said Mr. Minus under his breath as he tried to come up with the toughest question he could think of. Ivy, he called out, what's eight plus three? You have three seconds. Hey, that's not fair, exclaimed Levi. Why does she have a time limit? Because I make the math rules snapped Mr. Minus. Three, two, but before he could get to one, Ivy blurted out her answer. Hey friends, what do you think that answer is? If you guessed 11, you're right. It's 11, she shouted. Eight plus three equals 11. Oh no, proclaimed Mr. Minus. That's right. Levi and Ivy jumped up and down with excitement, so thrilled that they would finally be able to head back to bed. So when do we leave? Asked Ivy. In all their excitement, they didn't notice at first how sad Mr. Minus looked. Mr. Minus, what's wrong? Asked Levi. Oh, forget it. You don't really care anyway. No one ever likes math. They just want to get away from it as quickly as possible. And that means getting away from me too, said Mr. Minus with a frown. I didn't mean to make you anxious or nervous. I just wanted some friends to do math problems with. But I made a promise and you two can go back home now. Just then, the door to the classroom magically opened up and Levi and Ivy could see their bedroom on the other side. But even though they could have skipped right back in and curled up in their comfy beds, they stopped for a minute. They felt bad for Mr. Minus and thought maybe they could stay for just a few more math problems. You know, Mr. Minus, I kind of want to do a bit more skip counting if you don't mind, said Levi. Maybe by tens this time? And I could use a bit more practice adding double-digit numbers, said Ivy. Do you think you could help me? Mr. Minus looked so happy. He felt wanted and needed and couldn't get the silly grin off of his face. Well, of course I can help. Math is kind of my thing, he said with a big smile as he stepped toward the chalkboard and began a little math lesson just for Levi and Ivy. After a few questions, Levi and Ivy began to yawn and Mr. Minus knew they had to go. Thank you so much for staying a bit longer with me, said Mr. Minus. I hope you see now how much fun math can be. Thank you, Mr. Minus. We'll never forget you and we'll certainly use everything we learned here tonight on our test tomorrow, said Levi and Ivy as they walked back into their bedroom. The next morning arrived quickly and Levi and Ivy couldn't have been more ready for their math test. They ate a good breakfast while discussing their crazy dream from the night before. It seems so real, said Levi. I know, added Ivy. At least we got a few more practice questions in. Then they headed off to school, skip counting their steps all the way. But when they arrived, they got a big surprise. Their principal was standing in front of their class instead of Mr. Martin. Sorry to say, kids, that Mr. Martin is sick today, said their principal. Does that mean no math test? shouted Levi. We studied literally all night, added Ivy. Oh no, you'll still have your test said their principal. You'll just have a substitute teacher. I'd like to introduce you all to... 
Who do you think it's gonna be? Mr. Minus. Levi and Ivy's jaws dropped as Mr. Minus walked into their classroom. Hello, everyone, he said with a smile looking at Levi and Ivy. I hope we're all ready to have some fun with numbers today. Want to start a podcast? Spotify has an easy free platform called Spotify for podcasters. Here's how it works. Record and edit your podcast on your phone or computer with ease. Share your podcast on Spotify and all other major platforms. You can even make video podcasts on Spotify. If you want to engage with your audience more, use Q&A and polls. You can earn money through ads and podcast subscriptions. It's completely free, no hidden cost. Give it a try. Visit www.spotify.com slash podcasters to get started. We love making our podcast and working with Spotify has been amazing. Did you learn a lesson from this story? If so, what was it? And parents, do your kids have a story idea? Leave a comment on our Apple Podcast review page with five stars, the idea and your kid's name for a chance to join Levi and Ivy on their next adventure. Until next time. Thanks for listening. Come back for more.